So my last video on Max Turner was actually pretty popular. It was one of my most popular videos, and I know other people have been interested in hearing more about the philosophy of Max Turner. Um, so eventually I hope to cover things like uh, Sterner's understanding of altruism and egoist ethics and rational egoism. But as of now, I'm going to just simply discuss um, Sterner's understanding of the self and this concept um, called the spook. Uh, we're going to begin by a quote by my friend Josh who said this, and he recently sent me this quote that uh, he had written out a while back, but I think it perfectly sums up Sterner's understanding of the self. Sterner suggests that we are by nature nothing. We can reject or accept concepts, social protocol, and a myriad of other things. It is in this nothingness, or malleability, that we are able to become anything, hence the creative nothing. The self is a nothing in that it cannot be captured or defined by any concept, since concepts or definitions are fixed and unchanging, whereas the self is constantly transforming and transcending itself. The self is a nothing in that it cannot be identified. The self is not a nothing in the sense of emptiness, however, but a creative nothing that only exists by appropriating and externalizing itself. Spook is a controlling abstraction, thought to be existent, thought to have some corporeal foundation, but in fact has no physical or material existence, and is merely a ghost-like apparition, a phantasm, a spook. Sterner likens spooks to fixed ideas, unquestionable doctrines and values that individuals hold very closely and dearly, concepts that have latched onto us and taken hold of us. Nowadays, it is very common to hear of pleas to reject the lifestyles of consumerism and social materialism, but what about the just as controlling, just as soul-crushing dogmas of religion, the state, morality, humanism, society, mankind, race, gender, property, human rights, etc.? Is not any ideological position just as much of a mental constraint as the desire for material wealth? This is what Sterner warns us of. The divine is God's concern, the human man's. My concern is neither the divine nor the human, not the true, the good, the just, the free, etc., but solely what is mine. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.